This is the Halo Mega Bloks UNSC turret, and it doesn't get any more basic than this. Released nearly 15 years ago, this was truly a test by the Mega Designers to see how many Spartans they could shove down a Halo fan's throat, and they gave you a Halo turret alongside it. In all seriousness though, this Halo set was properly named UNSC Turret, and is exactly what you would expect, like part quality that won't spin like it should. The entire turret is held up by two 2x10 two plates on the very bottom. They do a decent job at keeping everything stable. In reality though, they do leave a little bit to be desired. The spinning circular piece on top does help us to get as much movement as we can out of this turret, and it doesn't always catch, but it will sometimes just catch on one of the pieces and not allow you to spin it like it should. With the hinge piece on the back, the turret also has some pretty good movement up and down to shoot things from the sky or things down below. It's pretty stable in that matter, and I'm actually kind of surprised that this hinge is still holding up. On the back of this UNSC turret, we have a nice little sticker that's covering multiple pieces. Unfortunately, it is definitely peeling, but it looks pretty good and is accurate to the source material, I think. It's kind of hard to tell. They do use the same seat from the previous set from the Warthog, and it easily fits a minifigure, so that's a positive. And look at that, when it wants to, it spins really fast. The top of the turret has a nice looking sticker and a ventilation piece at the very back, and it's a piece that Mega sometimes will still use even today. The barrels of the turret are four at the very front, and often can get a little skewampus if you accidentally touch them. But surprisingly enough, they don't break off as easily as you'd think, and they're pretty stable. Mega did a good job building this one. On the side of the turret near the shielding, we have another piece coming from the Ghost that I love to have in this one, and it's another ventilation piece that is circular this time. For what it's worth, in 2009, this build actually wasn't that bad. The pieces all fit together fairly nicely, and it looks pretty good too. I'm impressed with the Mega Bloks team with this one. I expected something a lot worse, and something that fell apart much easier. But as always, the best part about any Halo Mega set is the minifigures. And these minifigures are fine for the most part, but they're just Spartans. More Spartans, the same stuff that we've gotten a ton already with this wave. The Spartans did include two unique molds for the shotgun and for the SMG, but they're both ginormous and definitely oversized. In no Halo universe would you want a shotgun to be larger than a Spartan, unless you were fighting the Flood. Despite the nuisance of the fact that we get three more Spartans and no Marines in this wave, I do think the Spartans look really good, and Mega perfected this mold on the first try. Funny enough, these Spartans are still an icon of Halo Mega Bloks today, and something that I think a lot of people have fond memories of. So, good job Mega for making these Spartans well-loved by many. But that's all of the UNSC turret. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below of what you think this set could have done better, and what you would want to see if this set was made today. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, it helps me out a ton, and I would love to make more more videos for you guys so we can decide if Master Chief is better than this old Spartan.